Psalm 3, verse 7. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. In this present battle that David is in, he was very confident that God was with him. He was very confident that he was not alone. And that's something we can learn from David, that when we are in battles, we are not there alone. And because he believed that God was with him and God had not abandoned him, he called on the Lord to come and save him. And the language he uses is, Arise, O Lord, and save me. He's calling on the Lord to get involved in what he was uh, facing. And uh, he trusted that the Lord who had been with him in the past, in his past battles, will help him in this present battles. And so in this prayer of David, we see a remembrance of his past battles. And his past battles started when he was a young person. David was fighting a bear and a lion, and then he fought Goliath, and he has fought so many other ferocious enemies. And in all those battles, the Lord was with him. So he's saying, Lord, you who was with me in the past, come to my aid now in this battle. And David recounted how the Lord fought his enemies in two ways. He said the Lord had struck his enemies on the cheek and he had broken the teeth of the ungodly. He's using the words cheekbone and teeth figuratively. He's not necessarily saying God go and hit people on their jaws and break their teeth. He's using it figuratively. Now why does David use these words, the cheekbone and the teeth in this prayer? Because he's remembering the earliest battles he fought. The earliest battles of David was against the lion and the bear that came against his lambs. And when they took his lambs in their teeth, David would go and strike them on the cheekbone, break their teeth, and remove the lambs. And so he's saying, Lord, as I did for my lambs when they were delivered, so I know you also do for me. You deliver me from the cheeks of my enemy and from their teeth that is holding me. So when he says, Lord, break their teeth, what is he talking about? Does he mean literally God go and break people's teeth? No. The teeth is the weapon of the lion and the bear. That's what they used to crush the lambs, the teeth and the cheekbone. David says, destroy their arms, destroy their strength. The things that they will use to hold me, break it so they can't hold me. Just like by breaking the teeth of the lion and the cheekbone of the lion, the lambs are free. So the Lord will free me by disarming my enemy. So this prayer is a prayer for God to disarm his enemies. And he says, Lord, you've done it in the past and I know you will do it in the present. And there is something we can learn from David that in every battle, you find enemies who are armed. The arm may be a political power they have. It may be money they have. It may be influence they have. It may be a position they have. Whatever their arm and their strength is, when God is delivering you, he disarms the enemy of all his strength and pulls you out as a lamb from the jaws of a lion. And that is how God gives us the victory. So the Lord who fights for you will disarm the enemy and he will pull you out and deliver you. He has done it in the past. He'll do it today again. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for the victories you gave me in the past. I trust you for new victories today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If he did it yesterday, he will do it today. If he delivered you from a lion and a bear, he will deliver you from this enemy too. I am Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.